Hello, and welcome back to The Stillness of the Wind. This is a uh, story-focused, uh, just kind of atmospheric uh, simulation game, I guess. Those were a few of the uh, genre tags on Steam, so that's kind of what I'm going with. Uh, it's about this uh, woman, uh, Talma, I think her name was, uh, who lives on this farm. We've been reading a few letters from her family members who live out in the big city. Uh, we've just been completing some tasks around the farm as well. We uh, ventured out to the uh, uh, mine at the end of last episode. We got some crops growing, so those will uh, be done in a couple days probably. Um, what else do we want to do? I wonder what happens when we uh, go check this shotgun out. Okay, we can take it. Okay, interesting. Can we put that back? We can. Maybe we can go over to that log. I wonder what the deal is with that log. Oh, well, we're going the long way around. Okay. I would have thought we would go to the left. I guess not, though. Alright, we have two goats, a couple chickens. Oh, what? What was the deal with that? There's those hay icons there for a second. Oh! Oh, they're asking for hay! Because they ate the hay. Okay, interesting. So what's the deal here? On the last night, we all lived under one roof. We carved T-E-G on this old lime tree, daring tomorrow never to come. That's cute. Okay, yeah, I don't know... Curious about the uh, the power line poles, and if like we can just follow those out of here, maybe. Um, but yeah, let's go back over here and let's try and figure out how to get the um, the goats some hay. I don't know where we would get that from. I also wonder. Can we, uh... Oh, can't do that. I guess we have to go all the way around, probably. Also, that, uh, part of the fence doesn't look super, like, secure. I wonder if that's, like, something we have to fix? Don't know. Should also close this. Yeah, they immediately... No, no, no. To wait for you to go over there, maybe? No, you're not gonna. And there we go. Thank goodness. Okay, yeah, what's what's your deal? Let me go talk to you. Talk to you. I can pet you. Okay. <laughs> and we're laughing. Okay, what's the deal with the, the goat's shed? One summer, with a few hairs on his chin, Garza rebuilt this goat, goat house, the next in a long line of Yumas reaching her time. Oh, so that's what these are called, Yumas? We can't... Can't do anything with that. We can give this goat a little pet as well. How do we... I, I'm guessing we probably are going to have to... Um... buy the hay. Ooh, careful. Oh, perfect. That actually worked out quite nicely. Alright, well, that was good timing, because we are going to need some... My dear, do I have news for you? The city of Elgos has found its new mayor, and it is none other than Cousin Voda, the handsome frog face is on every newspaper. From our leaders, we expect honesty. I better not see any flies coming out of his mouth. Okay. All right. Oh, we can get a billy goat. Interesting. Oh, we can also get shotgun shells. Interesting. Let's maybe get a couple of those. We definitely want the hay. Maybe we can get a potato seed. Talma, it is breeding season for the critters, so I have brought this cheeky billy goat. You are welcome to borrow him. Great. 
Okay, let's give you some eggs and some cheese. Hmm, that's not enough. I mean, that is a tall order. How many chickens would I have to give you? Okay, I can't give you all my chickens. Okay, maybe we have to... Let's maybe... Oh, even that is too much? Wow. Oh my god, how expensive is the billy goat? My goodness. Okay, uh... Yeah, I can give you all my cheese. Hmm, okay. Um... And that's just for the billy goat? But I mean, we do need the hay. Okay. Uh, what about more eggs? Okay, can't do that. Well, I mean, I... I could? No. I need to do that. Get rid of the hay. Okay, one more egg, and I think we'll call it there. Cool. Oh no, hay just drops into the, the farmyard. That's funny. Okay, I'll take that letter from you. And do we need to talk anymore? This lack of cheese is dairy, dairy depressing. Oh, you want more cheese? Well, we're gonna have to milk the, the goats, so... Um, okay, let's read this letter. Desk of Vodabera, Office of the Mayor City Hall, Algo City. To my oldest friend, you knew me as an unruly boy. Today I write to you as the man I was destined to become. On this precipice, where I begin composing my great legacy, I weigh my defining moments. First, my father abandons his practice, his house, his life. He moves to the farm next to your families, where, he imagines, the aftertaste of his failures won't follow. Second, you, a girl of sixteen and eldest of a litter, reach out to a young stray resigned to solitude and misery, showing him there is light. Third, I move to the city to construct the intractable architecture of a career uncorrupted. To bridge and bind power with compassion, I run a path forty years long. My life moves only forward. The approaching autumn festival makes a thousand demands from permits and procession, procession plans to committees and cost. Yet I write to you, Talma, to reconnect with my roots. I regret how we've fallen out of touch. I hope you'll allow me this indulgence. Outside, an ancient man plays harmonica with all his soul. I could not ask for a more eloquent melody to accompany these sentiments. Yours sincerely, Voda. Well, that's nice. Trying to mend old, uh, old bonds. Okay, let's not do any crop yield today. I mean, not that we can. I wonder if we have to keep watering them as well. That might be the case. And we got four eggs. Yeah, see? Oh, but the hay, yeah. Why aren't you uh, asking for hay? Oh, no. Did a goat die? Um, hang on. <laughs> Let's go in here. Let's close this. What the heck? Did a goat die? Oh my god, it's dead. But there's hay now, how... How do we get you to eat the hay? I don't get it. We can't, uh... I don't, I don't know what to do. Still asking for hay. Do you need more? I'm gonna have purchased a billy goat only to have my two goats die? I hope not. I don't know what the deal... What's, what's, um... Why, why are we laughing, Dalma? This is no laughing matter. Your goat just died. Well, now you're yawning. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna have to go here. I don't know what the deal with... I haven't gone to check out the billy goat, so... <laughs> why is she laughing so much? Um, oh, actually, before I go head inside, I want to grab these eggs as well. And now we can go in here. 
Yeah, because the goats are how we get cheese. So. Okay. Um, anything else? Not. I don't think so. I think we can just go straight to bed. Hopefully the goat will eat the hay by tomorrow morning. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully there isn't too dire of consequences for that. I need at least one to stay alive so I can keep milking. So we can keep getting cheese. Oh, there's a cutscene with a flashback. There's train smoke. This is interesting. Oh no, we're just going. Okay, this is the farm. Just click and we continue, or do we have to wait for this thing? I hear the chimes of our uh, our salesman friend. Oh, we're moving into the the farm. It seems it's with this like black and gray. What is this right here? Is that the billy goat? I think that might be the billy goat. That's definitely the billy goat. Are we Tom again? Why is... What's with all of this? This is not a uh, very happy day. My goodness. And we got train stuff going on. Okay, we can walk around. What's the deal with the billy goat? I'm going to talk to the billy goat. You have something to say about it? We're going in slow motion. Okay, very odd. We also, there is another little mine area, or cave, whatever you want to call it, over there that we'll have to um, go check out. Not sure when we want to do that. Yeah, it's still asking for hay. My goodness. Is it eating it, though? It looks like it's eating it. So that's a good sign, hopefully. I wonder if we have to water these again. Let's try doing that. Oh, of course. It's only five. Well, that's annoying. Let's go get some more water, I guess. Now that we've started, we should also see if we can get some more milk from the goat, because in the event that it uh, keels over from lack of hay, we might need it. Hello, friend. Who are you? What's your deal? What is this? I found one that looks like a horsey. It has really pretty green eyes. Lala would like him. Show it to her when it's her turn, okay, Mama? And to Papa, too. Please? Whoa. Was I supposed to click out of that? I had some sort of flashback. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's go back to our crops. I think the hay might be gone. Oh! And we put it up on there, I guess? Yeah, I want to water this. Why can't I... Uh... There we go. I hope the birds don't affect the crops. 
crops at all. Alright. Put that there. Let's go check on our goats. Where is our bucket? Let's go grab our bucket. Is this just like a statue or something? Oh, okay. So that's a good sign that the, um... Oh, it still wants water. She needs to eat first. Hmm. That is troubling. Very troubling. Can we drop that? I can't talk to the billy though. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Okay, well, uh, I mean, I don't really need to uh, bring the bucket with me. Okay, let's close that. Let's, um... I don't know what the deal... What's the, oh, actually, no. Let's bring me to somewhere I don't want to go. I could technically actually start some more crops. Whoops. Yeah, do that one. And hopefully I can plant this before I need to do that. Elvish thistle seeds, sure. I'll be right there, friend. Let's water this. There we go. Drop it and go see our friend. Not that we can really buy anything. I guess it's more of just a, uh, a talk. Why? Oh, did he bring another billy goat? He must have. <laughs> Say, Talma, my cousin Raveni has settled his caravan near the city. He can hear the jingle jangle of his trinkets for miles. Might they interest you? Each day I will bring a mystical treasure I have handpicked from that old beaver. For you, milady, the only best, the only, only the very best damn ones. Well, I don't have much to be able to buy them. Skyweaver, Mountain Crown Seeds. Yeah, can I buy? How much is hay worth? Five eggs? Yeah, let's do it. And we'll take a letter. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Okay, and that billy goat is coming with, I guess. Uh, note that billy goat got out? What? <laughs> How did the billy goat get out? I closed the gate. Okay, I think it's eating, so that's good. Let's read our letter. I'm Yuma Marigot. Sister dear, I've had such a fabulous night while attending a performance of La Dame du Verre at the Grand Wolfbat Theater, no less. I was chosen to be the audience participant, and I danced on stage with the young cast and the stunningly beautiful lead through two mesmerizing scenes. Mama, I was smitten. I began considering a dancing career, but Garza dissuaded me. We met yesterday for brunch at the, at the Balsam Bistro, and I should mention the area's decline in my esteem. The Evergardens nearby usually appear so pristine, never so overgrown. Our brother looks well, if unrested. He obsesses over Pot's electoral win. I've never understood their rivalry, so I quoted to him from the play, Those who never leave the playground forever remain children. That's good advice. Then he spoke of Elazar. The look of doting in his eyes was so lovely to see again, Amma, the same look you had after Rama was born. If Bren and I had raised children of our own, I'm sure I'd feel the same had such a spring in my step since the play. What do you think, Amma? Shall I revive our girlhood dance routines? Can you imagine? Love, Mimi. Amitha? What is... What is Amitha? Um, well, considering I think you are good to go... Yeah, why... Why, why did the Billy Goat leave? What the heck? Why did that happen? Can I milk you now? It seems you're content. quick milking before the day is over. 
And hopefully the milk can be saved for the morrow. Close that. And I guess we'll find out the hard way. Don't necessarily want to be out here at night for too long. I think the other thing, after we, um, what's it called? After we make the cheese, I think we'll try and read that book as well. Let's see what happens after that. I really hope the billy goat comes back because that'll kind of suck if he doesn't. Uh, it looks like a overcast day. Excellent. Oh, I think there might be a note on that rock back there too. All right, let's go make some cheese. Oh yeah, the plants are growing again, so I think you probably do have to water them every day. That's kind of unfortunate. Add more milk to the pot. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Is my... Hold on. Wait, what? Oh, the milk doesn't stay? Ah, oh, man. Well, hopefully I'm able to get one more milking out of our goat then. That's crappy. She's not ready to be milked yet. Okay. So, maybe... I guess we should water our crops then. And then we'll go uh, read our book, I think. It's also kind of an overcast day, so... Maybe that's a good excuse. I think we are all... We don't have... I think we will only have four uh, waters left. Oh, my watering can is empty. Really? Oh, maybe because I've watered it already? Hmm, I don't know. We'll just go get more. Go get more regardless. We'll also have to uh, make a trip and get those mushrooms uh, another time. Maybe the following day? There's so much to do. I just I want to go check out that other mine cave mine thing on the far end, the far right. Gotta read the book still, but I also need to like upkeep all of the freaking animals and crops and everything too. Okay, let's go do that. I imagine we'll be able to sell this stuff as well eventually, which is good. Should be able to water all of this. Excellent, one more. All right, let's drop you and let's go read. Go chill out. I think we could sit here and then maybe read this. Can we read? Oh, we can't sit and read, what the heck? Fremo, that's what we want, right? Castle Oh, these are the different books, I guess. <laughs> There's our friend. Fremont by Saul. Oh, yeah, I read this one already. Okay. Uh, Castelline by Sola de Labeth. Castelline is a beautiful city. Castelline was the first city in uh, Gif Giffray to light its streets by candlelight in the evenings. Before the use of lamplight, great night candles lined the streets, and due to the windless nights, there was little risk of the flames extinguishing. In fact, it was common for the children to climb to nearby windows and try to blow out the giant flames, much to their folly. Because of the size of the candles, Castelline's main streets were landmarked by great towers of solid wax. When they were big enough and firm enough, new wicks were simply driven into the great towers and lit again. The city was kept so clean and stood high enough on the Shine Plateau 
that the wax very rarely muddied, and since it rarely rained, the streets flowed with wax, giving Castellan the name the City of Pale Wax. Interesting. So she does sit down when we do this. Okay. Amatha, I saw it up lay back. Amatha, the city of tomes nestled on the blue sands of the Juniper Sea, is a city that has defied every intrusion of change for centuries. It was built by the ancients and is lived in by their defendant scholars who bend each day the corners of their being toward the predecessors with whom they are enamored. I love that she falls asleep when we're reading. Uh, we can exit. Uh, but I am guessing it's too... Uh, too late to do that. I wonder, we could also, we could probably get away with doing one more crop today. I doubt we'll have time to milk and do cheese again if we're even able to milk our goat again. That'll be kind of unfortunate if we can't. Mountain crown seed? Well, I guess that's our only thing, so. Yeah. It's the only thing we'll have time for. And we're out of water, so that's perfect. Plant one more crop, and to bed we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't really know what the deal was with that, like, dream sequence. The billy goat and everything. I also don't know why the billy goat left. <laughs> that was kind of random. Also curious if like um, we were able to. Oh, it's rainy today. If the like goats like had a baby at all? Yeah, the goats hungry for. Oh, they did have a baby. There we go. Oh, right. We're borrowing the billy goat. I understand now. I wonder. Oh, yeah. We can collect those. Interesting. Okay, so we were going to try milking the goat. So let's do that first, and then maybe we'll try and collect the crops. Just because I want to wanna get our cheese uh, stockpile building up again. So let's go here, go in, close that, milk you. She's not ready to be milked yet. Okay, well, I guess we're not milking. Okay, so let's go grab the basket, and then we'll just grab some of our crops. So what all do we have here? Marquez Gourd. What lovely cryptids lust flowers. Oh, do we, can we not? Is our basket full, seriously? That's kind of annoying. Okay, so we've got the gourds. Where's our basket? Oh, we have our basket. Okay. Go grab the flowers. Lovely cryptids lost flowers. Can we not? Oh! Interesting. So we can pick up more than one. Okay, that's good. And I'm guessing because it's rainy, we won't need to water crops, right? In theory? Okay, so we've got some gourds. Good to go there. Um, I think that letter is from yesterday. And our friend is here again, so that's good. Uh, yeah, let's talk to you first. That's more of a time crunch. <laughs> Why I... Clan, why my clan chose the Black Cliff Trail as our route. Just today, amidst this rain, a rock slide nearly sent me tumbling down to become a pancake. It's enough to leave me flummoxed and a bit hungry. Hmm. Now, where can I get pancakes? Can I make you pancakes? Maybe. Um, okay, so I do have gourds. I've got some goats. I've got some eggs. I definitely need hay. Okay, so that's enough to get that. Uh, goat egg. Can I get any more? Also, why do I only have two chickens? I thought I only sold two chickens. 
Or did the chickens die or something? Can I get enough for that? No. Damn. Okay, uh, well, let's just do that then. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. We'll do that. Okay. Alright. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's go... Let's grab our basket. Okay, yeah, I'll keep the, um... Keep the goat fed, because that will be, uh dire situation. At age 11, when Sola learned this was once a dog kennel, she begged day and night for a puppy she never got. Oh. I clicked on the wrong area, I guess. How many eggs? Four eggs. Yeah, and the chickens, I guess. I don't know what the deal is with the chickens. We must have lost a couple. Kind of unfortunate. Okay. It's good to go. Um, and I guess, yeah, let's go grab this letter, but I don't think we'll have enough time to read them today, or for this episode anyway. We'll have to read them at the beginning of next. Although I guess uh, the day isn't quite over yet, so maybe we could just um, go inside and read our letters. Here. Yeah, it's almost the end of the day. So I think, I think, such a fabulous night attending Grand Theater. Yep. Soliuma, tell me, it hurts to imagine how you'll react to this letter. I've rewritten it so many times, the words feel like a stranger's. But I've decided I can't keep running away, so I'm coming home. Lyria is no longer the place I once knew. I was just a girl when I came. I fell in love with a city where people defended each other and fought for what's right. Now all I hear are the riots. Everything here teaches me to feel numb against the violence. That scares me more than the rest of it. I've heard on Elgos Radio about this year's Autumn Festival. For the first time, it sounds lovely. I should arrive in time for its last few days. Hopefully this unease won't follow me across the sea. I won't impose on you after leaving the way I did. Back then, Aunt Imi seemed almost as mad at me as I imagined you were. So I'll call Uncle Garza. I'll stay with him until I can find a room of my own. I just thought, as my mother, you should know. Interesting. Okay, uh, how do we... Oh, right, like that. And then Garza. Here, Toma, a heaviness coils in my chest. It follows me into my dreams, stone skin slithering between the goats. Since recently... Stone skin slithering between the goats... I feel like that's a hint on something. Since recently meeting with Aimee over lunch, I am shaken. I have pondered how, in our age, we aspire toward ideal health. Now I see that ideal is a shoreline receding. Yes, Bren's estate affords her lavish luxuries, a different assistant for this and that. Yet I never thought I would see her too with shrunken steps and a wooden cane, desperately concealing the growing burdens of age. I had to rage against Pot's victory to mask my distress. The Autumn Festival looms ever closer. Pot has invited the gypsies to join the parade at the 11th hour, and the public clamors to hear more of a story already told. My news presses race to keep up with the foreign dignitaries, royalty, and celebrities all coming to see it. Meanwhile, Moira reminds me I have been neglecting our grandchildren. Yet all I can do is stare at Father's watch, its silver hands finally still. Your brother, Garza. Oh, he gave me a shotgun shell. That's... I guess helpful. I, I'm very curious as to when we're actually going to have to use that thing. Um, yeah. Very interesting. And with that, unless we get another dream sequence, no, I think we're okay. I think that is where we'll leave it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.